Hey everybody, it's Katie with Factory Direct Crafts, and today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable photo display. This is super great for um, Instagram printouts. Um, I just went through my feed and printed out some of my favorite photos, and it's a, just a really fun, easy way to display them. What you're going to need for this project is two wooden dowels, some black acrylic paint, a sponge brush, some black macrame cord, a hot glue gun, a pair of scissors, some tape, and then your photos to display. So once you get your materials together, let's go ahead and get started. So the first step in this project is painting your dowels black. And I'm using black because I have this great um, black string and I want it all to just blend together so my photos are really gonna pop. So I'm using a sponge brush today and black acrylic paint because the sponge brush is gonna cover nice and quick and I won't have to do two coats. So you see how fast this goes. We just want a really thin layer because the wood is so light it's gonna cover the first time. And then we don't have a long dry time either which is really nice. So make sure you get everywhere evenly and then at the end you wanna make sure you get that covered as well. Great. So now I'm going to let these set for probably five to ten minutes just so they're ready um, to work with. So the next step is gluing your dowels together once the paint has dried. So I'm going to apply just a generous amount of hot glue to the end of my dowel right in the center. And then I'm going to take my other dowel and line it up and secure them. It's important that you get it the, on there straight so that you don't have uh, any kind of wrinkle in your, in your line. Okay, and I'm just going to let that dry for another second. While that's drying, we can go ahead and add the hanger on the top. So to do this, you're going to apply a drop of hot glue about two inches in. And go ahead and secure your rope on, leaving a tail that's about five inches long. I'm just holding this in place to let it dry to make sure that it's connected. Okay, so once that's on there, we're going to go ahead and pull this to the other side. Again, going about two inches in. And I want mine to hang about this high. So you just eyeball how much you need. It's gonna go to right there. And I'm leaving once again about five inches off the bottom. So I'll just go ahead and trim it right there. And now we can glue this one in place as well. So I'm just laying that hot glue on the dowel and holding that in place to let it dry. So what you want to do with the tail is you want to wrap it around the dowel and this is going to give it a really clean look. Um, so just apply a little line, about a half inch of hot glue and start wrapping this cord just like so. And then on the back we're going to apply hot glue at the very end kind of secure that in place. While that's drying we can do the exact same thing on this side. Just applying a thin line of hot glue. And wrapping around. And then secure that end. Okay. 
Okay, now that we have the body, the poles, and um, our hanger attached, we're gonna start adding the ribbons that hang down and hold the photos. So you're gonna take your macrame cord, and we need to measure how long we need our string to be. So I'm gonna take three of these photos. Now these are really large, so yours, it's gonna vary by what size your photos are that you're displaying. So I'm gonna do one hanging about two inches down and I'm gonna do a photo every two inches. So I'm just eyeballing it. And then I'm giving myself a little extra cord at the end because you can always trim but you can't add more. Okay, now that we have that measured, we're gonna secure this length of macrame cord to um, our dowel. So to do that, we're gonna use hot glue again and I'm just gonna apply a line right down the center and this is also gonna hide the seam of the dowels where they're connected. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay that on there. Pull it down securely. And then we're gonna wrap the back around. So I'm just continuing that line of hot glue right down the seam and pulling this in place. And this is just a nice way to attach it without creating the bulk, um, bulkiness of having a knot there. It just looks very clean. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and measure my cord. Exactly the same length as this guy. And I'm gonna cut two more identical lengths. And these are gonna go on the same way, just on either side. So I'm gonna do one right here and then one on the other side. And I will check back in with you once I have these secured. Okay, now that I have all three cords attached, it's time to start adding the photos that I wanna use. So I'm picking out three photos and what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna go ahead and flip this to the back, which is where the seams of your hot glue are. And you wanna turn your photos face down, just like this, and line them up. So once you get those in place, make sure the cord is even and going right down the center. Just take a piece of normal tape. And I'm using this tape so that I don't ruin my photos if I wanna change them out because this will, is strong enough to hold them but not strong enough to damage the, the photos. And then you just put one little piece of tape right down the center. And I'm gonna do this the whole way down. Make sure your photo is right side up. And my final picture. So now as you can see, I have a little bit extra cord. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim this. And there's what the first length of images looks like. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of my photos and I'll show you what this looks like hanging up. Thanks for watching guys.